My name is Renee Pache. I'm 53 years old. I was diagnosed at age 48 um, five years ago. I'm married to my husband, Mike, for 33 years. We have three children. Tim is 31, Dan is 29, Emily just turned 17. We also have a little dog, uh, he's two. We love taking him for walks and taking him to the dog park. Um, he's a lot of fun. I have three grandchildren with one on the way. I worked for 16 years at Yale New Haven Hospital. I was a patient care tech and I loved it. I missed my job a lot. But um, when they gave me um, a year to live a diagnosis, I decided I was gonna stay home with my family. So in January of 2016, I started feeling very bloated. A friend of mine actually touched my stomach and said, anything, what's new? She thought I was pregnant. <laughs> so I knew it wasn't all in my head. I didn't have um, as much as an appetite as I usually do. I would eat a lunch at work and then come home and not be hungry for dinner. One day after work, I just, I came home from work and I laid down and I never usually did that. Um, and I was just really tired and, and not feeling great. So I said, oh, they just need to admit me and find out what's going on. So I went to our local emergency room here and they did blood work and right away they saw my, my liver enzymes were elevated. They did an ultrasound at three in the morning, CAT scan at 5.30 in the morning. And then I went back to my room in, in the emergency room and I fell asleep and around 9, 9.30 I woke up and I called the nurse. I said, oh, did they get any results back? You know, the nurse said, oh, the doctor um, is just making some more appointments from you. He'll be in a few minutes. Um, and then he came in, um, pulled, shut the door, pulled the curtain, and he said that it was cancer. And then a couple days later they um, said, yes, it was cholangiocarcinoma. I did chemo for about six months. Um, when I found out on um, there's a Facebook group. I heard about a procedure called the TASTE procedure. I asked my doctor about it and I was able to get it. He didn't offer it to me, but I'm so glad that I found out through a fellow warrior, fellow patient about it um, because it was very successful for me. I had a nine centimeter tumor uncovering most of the left lobe of my liver. So the nine centimeter tumor in my liver um, was completely destroyed by this taste procedure. It's still there now, it's like five or six centimeter, just kind of a hollow shell. They're watching it, but um, it hasn't grown or anything. Um, I do have it now in both lungs um, and a few other little spots, but I've been stable. Um, so I'm very, very thankful. Um, one day I was sitting at my computer in the dining room and I Googled cholangiocarcinoma and that's why I found the foundation. I think I did contact them. Lisa Crane called me and um, it was the first person I ever really talked to. Um, and that was that was that was great. That was very helpful. Um, Foundation's been wonderful, let you know you're not alone. And I'm so thankful for them because they have so much information. Um, I went to one conference out in Salt Lake and it was um, it was very informative. I think that if I didn't know about the foundation, I would be so lost and so would everyone else, all the other patients who have to face this. It's opened the doors to so many treatment options, support, um, friendships. One thing that I would hope to, um, to give is hope. Um, I was given one year to live and I just celebrated five years. As much as it is very scary, you're not alone. Get a good support group going. Find out your mutations. Get second, third opinions. Don't be afraid that you're going to um, insult the doctor by going to get another opinion. For me, mainly it's my faith because I know that, you know, we're in good hands. I'm in good hands. Um, I also read an article about a woman who um, was still doing well. Six years later after her diagnosis, she was doing well, and that was Melinda. It was a kind of hope. She was kind of the woman, our hero, who um, I thought it's possible.